Welcome to the Embracing Grace podcast. I'm your host, Cindy Nicholson. Always remember, you are loved, chosen, and redeemed. Hello and welcome to the Embracing Grace podcast. My name is Cindy. I'm so glad that you're here. I want to share something with you. Um, I have been chatting to a friend about doing a podcast together and it's all going to be about encountering God. And I'm so excited to share that with you within the next couple of weeks. So just keep your eye out for that. But having just spent some time thinking about the topic and what God wants us to talk about, he reminded me of the woman with the issue of blood. And I want to just read the um, passage to you because there's a few things that I want to just draw out um, your attention to. And it says in Mark 5, verse 27 to 34, and I'm reading from the New King James Version. It says, when she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately the fountain of blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, You see the multitude thronging you and you say who touched me? And he looked around to see her who had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. So I just want to encourage you that you can have an encounter with God that brings a tremendous breakthrough. But it takes persistence in his presence. It takes pressing in. It takes constant meditation on his word. Because you know what? When the Bible says that she said to herself, if I may only touch his clothes, I will be made well. That means that she was meditating on the fact that she had heard about this Jesus. She didn't have the scriptures in the way that we did. Women were not allowed to study the the old scriptures, the Old Testament, in the same way that we can today. So she was meditating because she had heard about this Jesus who had done healings before. And she knew that if she could touch his hem, that she would be made well. So, and she didn't even think that he needed to lay hands on her. She knew the presence and the power that went with this man that was coming to her town. Um, and with that encounter, there was an immediate healing for her. It was not just being in God's presence. It was the pressing in, the desire, the heartfelt cry to be healed and be in God's presence. She knew she needed to be right there in order to receive her healing. So there was immediate healing in his, in his presence. Jesus then immediately realizes that power has gone out of him. Okay, And then interestingly, he says, who touched my clothes? And the disciples are saying, what do you mean? There are like hundreds of people around you and you're saying who touched me? The difference between all of those people and this one woman was the encounter that she had with him. And it is about her desire to be in his presence, knowing that there was going to be healing, that there is power in his presence and that his love was all that she needed in order to be set free from this affliction that she had had for so many years. I love when Jesus says, oh, when the Bible says, and he looked around to see her who had done this thing. Not all the versions are the same, but I love this New King James version of, of the, of, and the, um, the passage written in Mark where it says, and he looked around to see her who had done this thing. There is a difference in our faith when we are pressing in to receive from God. You know, over and over and over again, God says, 
seek me and you will find me. You will be found by me if you seek with me with all your heart. Knock and it will be the door will be opened. Um, and if you ask, you will receive. When we are persistently seeking after God and knocking without ceasing, the door will be open for us. We need to press in to his presence to be able to receive all the promises that God has for us because there are so many promises and sometimes we're only seeking the promises. We're only seeking after the inheritance, but actually God wants us to just come and sit with him. God wants us to reach out and touch the hem of his garment and say, I'm going to live by faith and I'm going to receive that because I'm pressing in. I want to be in God's presence. There was a difference about her and her faith that she had compared to all of the hundreds of people that were pushing against Jesus in that time and in that town. Nobody else was drawing from him in the same way that she had drawn from him. So I want to encourage you that spend time in God's presence because you want to spend time with him. Learn from him. You know, I was just chatting to somebody last night and we were saying that the wilderness when Jesus went to the wilderness, he was led there. Our wildernesses that we sometimes experience, we think it's a place of loneliness and despair and lack and depression and, you know, just sadness all over and difficulty. And But that's not what the wilderness was. The wilderness is a place of training. It's a place of spending time with God. It's a place of building ourselves up. And we need to start changing our perspective to see that when we're going through this low times that we feel is low times, it's actually the time that we need to plug into God so that God can build us up. So as you spend time with God, really dig into his presence. And I'm excited to share what my friend is going to share um, with you soon. I won't give her name away just yet because I'm so excited to, to share the word that she has on her heart for you. Um, God has been speaking to her about this for so many years and um, she just has so much to to share um, with you from the Father's heart. Um, and I'm looking forward to being able to have her just come and speak and um, yeah, just tell you everything that God has placed on her heart for you. So be like the woman with the issue of blood, press into his presence and receive all that God has for you. Just being in his presence will open up the floodgates of heaven in a way that you will never experience being outside of his presence. So always remember that you are loved, you are chosen and that you are redeemed. Lots of love. God bless. Bye.